What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? <laughs> it must be, man, because the trend of the uh, extremes is underway. You got some nice extreme dogs, man. You have some nice extreme dogs out there. And uh, I can see they're, they're going in their own direction. I'm on the sideline looking at it, though. You know what I mean? And then, I, you know, I'm, I'm involved with American Bullies right now as far as a classic. You know, she might be more of a standard classic. We'll see. We'll wait and see it out. But, I, uh, yeah, I take frequent pictures of her so you can see her. But she's going to be a little leggy. I can, I can tell you that. She's going to have some legs on her. You know, she likes to run, so she's going to have some nice lungs, nice long wind on her. She's got a nice strong muscle on her. You know, she's going to be good. She's going to be a nice bully. She got attitude and drive. You know, she put it all in one package. <laughs> but uh, the extreme thing is really taking off. The extremes, um, you know, no, no matter how you look at it, they all going to have a kind of like long back. I mean, all of them don't got a long back, but they kind of like going to have that long back. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, to me, it's kind of like exciting and fun to just see it take place, man. Because, you know, for me, I got to be happy to be a part of, of American Bully history. And you guys have to be part, have to be happy to be a part of American Bully history, man. We watching dogs evolve and be all messed up and get a chance to talk about them they're evolving into messed up they're not involved <laughs> they're not evolving into better they're just evolving into messed up they come from dogs that can fight to dogs that look muscle bound then they went to smaller dogs and now they grew they didn't grew back again a little bit longer and you extreme you call them extreme this is the shit right here and then you got the micros and the, and the exotics man this is crazy right here so that's that's just you know a lot of these things is just exciting to see because no matter what you really say they you know a lot of people is not gonna stop breeding their way you know the uh abkc might be just kind of like on its own, you know, ABKC on its own, and the American bully world on their own. You know what I mean? They breed what they can, and, and, and if it if it clicks and if it looks nice, you know what I'm saying, they'll take it to the ring. Boom. You know what I'm saying? It, it becomes a champion. It's a good dog. You can't knock no dog, you know what I'm saying? But what you can knock is how you bred it. It'll never be told, though. You know what I mean? It'll never be told. It's like game is to be sold and not told. It will not be told how you bred the dog. But, you know what I mean? They're going to they gonna like it. They're going to like it. And it's going to look bully. So, you know what I'm saying? We can't knock it. But it might have a little Boston in it. <laughs> might have a... Oh, man. It's going to have some Frenchie or some uh, English in there. It could have a different dog in there, too. You know what I'm saying? Old English Bulldog. ODs, uh, OD Bulldoggies, you know what I'm saying? Lapahas. Yeah, man, uh, American Bulldogs. You can have all them Bulldogs up in there because they're accessible dogs. You know what I mean? And, and people do breed. I'm just messing with my chin right now because I got, <laughs> I got a wild hair right here and I was picking it. I was picking at it trying to get it, but... <laughs> I'm just, you know, really just venting on the extremes right now tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because although you see a lot of the extremes, not all their feet are, are, are correct. But you can't help that. You ain't going to be able to help that all their feet aren't correct. You won't be able to help that most of them on their hawks have blisters. Look like something along the hawk area was, something was eating it up. You know what I'm saying? Right up, right, you know, like on a human's elbow, it just develop a, a big callus, you know, and it looks like calluses on their hawks. I don't know why, but, you know, that's just what I saw. 
as far as they long backs, you know what I'm saying? Because it's only evident to everybody's eyes that they have one. But as far as that, you know, some of them, some of them do have, oh, man. I don't want people to beat me up for saying that they, some of them do have a straight top line, but not all of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to beat me up, but, you know, you, you can't really lie about a dog. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to tell the truth. And you got to be honest if you want to be a part of the bully world. You got to be honest. So I'm honest. I mean, I'm honest to the point to say, yeah, they do have a lot of uh, long backs, roach backs. You can see the roach backs. Mm, look like they doing, you know what I'm saying? Throwing up gang signs. We'll hand it. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Don't owe me excuse me. I'm just playing, man. Okay, I'm just playing. But they do have those, and they got these extreme necks. I like the extreme necks on the extremes. And you know what I'm saying? It's a different dog. You can, you got to look at it as a different dog. So for the dog not to even have a neck, that's crazy right there. Like, to not even have a neck, just straight head and shoulders, you know? <laughs> no neck, you know what I mean? Just head and shoulders. <laughs> That's dope, you know what I'm saying? But they're also a little bit like just a tad bit unhealthy. They like smokers. You know what I'm saying? They 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 short winded. You can't take one of them dogs and put him on a bike and run him. Fucking probably kill that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> probably kill him or something. She don't want to do that. You know what I mean? You don't want to take him to the trap. You take him to the trap, they might steal him, and he ain't going to bite nobody if, if they <laughs> if the police come. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just messing with y'all. You know what I mean? But you can't. You do will see him on the traps, you know what I'm saying, in the cities. You know what I mean? I, I, I've i seen a, a tons of extremes in the cities. You know, and, you know, I've seen a tons of extremes in the Bay Area. I've seen some in the Bay Area, different parts of the Bay. I've seen some nice dogs from Sacramento, the Bay Area, and back up to the uh, hills of uh, Butte County. I've seen some nice dogs, man. You know, but one thing about it is you got to compare all these dogs to Razor's Edge. I wonder, do the show registry do that? The guy that, like, literally made the edge, I wonder, does he compare edge to all these dogs them that's kind of like almost uncomparable because edge is healthy he healthy unless you didn't took and double bred them and triple bred them and most of them are healthy you know can run you see my dog I might have to show another picture of her she can run man she got legs she can run i like dogs that can run i do you know what i'm saying because of what I like to do. I like to I like to walk. I like to walk long distances. Now I don't want this super tall ass American bully. I don't want this super tall dog. I don't want a tall dog. I like short, stout, stocky dogs. But every now and then if you come across a leggy dog and she's a very nice looking dog and you know what I'm saying? American bully. You can add that to the program because it is bully. It brings back the legs. It brings back the short back. I mean, a uh, straight back. It brings back the nice tail because my, my dog has a real nice tail. It brings back the nice ears. She has beautiful eyes and they're perfect color, like golden. I call her bright eyes. They're perfect color. I call her bright eyes. <laughs> so she brings a lot to the table. You know what I'm saying? Not just legs. You know what I mean? I could take her I could take her to a little stout dog and he'll take away, you know what I'm saying, the legs, you know. But I don't want no dog that don't fit standard. You know what I'm saying? If you don't fit standard, I don't want the dog, you know. And um But what if it looks a little bulldog? Would you breed it to your dog? If it looks a little bulldog. So you you know, that's like me saying, what if he was one of the new dogs? Because he shouldn't look a little bulldog. <laughs> he shouldn't look that. But when I breed my dog to a newer dog, 
Would I breed bright eyes to a newer dog? Not yet. Because I haven't seen one that I like. If it's a newer dog, he got to have legs. If he don't move, he's not really complimenting bright eyes. Because bright eyes move. She'll jump on that car right there. And she, you know, when she get older, she'll be able to jump on that car. So, no, nah, um, he'd have to look nice. Because, you know what I'm saying? I do want to end up breeding my dog to something nice. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, it, everybody want that nice dog. But it's not about the dog sometimes. Sometimes you can look at the dog and, you know, go back to his daddy or go back to his mama and get a better dog. Take your dog and go breed to his daddy and get a better dog. You know what I'm saying? Even though this is a nice dog on the ground, we're going to go breed to his dad or breed to his mom and get a better dog. You know? So, you know, take your time when it comes to choosing a dog for your dog. Don't be in no rush. Don't be in no rush. Because face the bully not really in a rush to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just walking around seeing dogs everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, where can I see dogs at? Who got brand new dogs? Let me, who got the old school dogs? Who got uh, colorful dogs and the fashionable dogs? Who has the regular dogs? I'm just running around checking it out. But I'm running around all Northern California right now. I'm running around NorCal right now, you know what I'm saying? Because when I when I when I put my blood together, when this blood start coming together, I want it to be right here blood, NorCal blood. Every dog that you practically see in my in my region is man, that's a nice dog. You could walk, you could roll past some bums on the street. They live in tents out here, everywhere, you know? Every single place they live in tents. And you could and you could roll by them and see some see them with some nice dogs. You can see them with some nice they got nice dogs. Bullies and pit bulls and Staffordshire Terriers, man. For real nice shit too. You know, so it's out here, you know, but the extremes, yeah, they out here too. And you know what I'm saying? When you see an extreme, especially one that's been in the ring, he's actually walked, you know what I'm saying, the lap. And he's been in the ring, so you can you can see what you know what's on the dog. You know it's it's different. You know what I'm saying when you get a chance to see one up up front, it's different. You know than looking at it on TV. On TV, yeah, you can see that they were gonna be a little unhealthy whenever you saw one, but they didn't look like they look when you got towards them because now you get a chance to hear him. One thing about the newer dogs is you can hear them. All of them, you can hear them. <laughs> you can hear them. You know what I'm saying? And they breathe real heavy with their tongues out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got a dog like that over here. You know what I'm saying? When she gets to playing, she get all excited. <laughs> She'll start choking. She gets so excited. <laughs> She'll start choking, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to like that in the bully breed, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to like to be a part of it, man. And when, you, and when you become a part of it, when you start observing it, take notes. You know what I'm saying? Write shit down of what happened. You know what I'm saying? When you was doing this and what happened when you was doing that. And that way you had documents and you'll be able to come and tell some of us what, what you did. Because you know, still sharp and still. You know what I'm saying? I, I can sit back and feed off you. You can sit back and feed off me, man. We don't have to sit here and really clown. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Ain't all of us, is, we're not going to like each other's dogs. That's just bottom line. <laughs> we're not going to like them. Everybody always going to be in some type of competition. It don't matter. You're going to try to be in competition because you think you got the better dog. You know what I'm saying? You got that dog. My dog better than his. You ever seen him at the dog show and they be snatching the dog up and you're looking at people ready to fight? You know what I'm saying? Like, my dog better than yours. He be ready to fight. You really got to get away from these kind of people because <laughs> they going crazy up in here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, you, you got, when you breeding, yeah, it's a challenge, man. Yeah, it's competition. This is all competition. That's why everybody breeding the way they breed. That's why everybody breeding the way they breed, man, because it's all competition. You know what I'm saying? And we like it. We like it. 
even though a lot of people know that it's a lot of lies being told because there's a lot of bulldog blood that didn't just snuck its way in and all these dogs. And if you keep breeding them with that bulldog, the bully going to be gone and the dog. It's just going to be a big-ass bulldog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just all it's going to be. The American bully is just going to be a big bulldog. A big old bulldog. You creating, but except this kind of bulldog, you know what I'm saying? This, this bulldog right here going to have all the bulldogs in it. It's going to have the Alapaha in there and the English and the Frenchie. Going to have some other shit from back in England off in there. Yeah, I mean, going to have some British shit off in there. Because now it's like there is no standard. When you're trying to create a perfect dog, there is no standard. You just breed to whatever you see until you get standard. That's facts because that's what you see people doing. You know, a lot of people don't have intentions on doing a breeding right now and taking those puppies into the ring. No, no, that's just stock. S-T-O-C-K, stock. That's just stock, man, because now you can take that stock and breed to it. You know what I'm saying? Flip it with somebody else stuff. Breed to that. Bring it back. Flip yours with it. Now you got your own blood that you're working with. But if you don't like it, you could always add something with it. It's been a lot of mixing and twisting and adding and things going on. My granddaddy would have called that shucking and jiving. <laughs> it's been a lot of shucking and jiving going on, man. <laughs> For real, face the bully, man. And hey, you know what? I hope y'all been doing blessed. I hope y'all been blessed, man, because it been hard on the boy, man. It been hard on the boy, man. I've been trying to be, I be nice to people, bro. I swear. And, man, the people just treat me like dog ass, man. I'm for real, man. And it's just like, bro, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to stop being nice, though. You know what I'm saying? Because... I got to I got to be nice for y'all. I got to be nice to people I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I got to be nice for children, my children, your children. I got to be nice, man. But some of the people I grew with, especially as female, man, I grew with, bro. Dog ass. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, man, you know what? I hope y'all have been doing great. I hope you guys have been blessed. Hey. We, I rebuke the devil, Satan, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says he has to flee. And, I, you know, no disrespect to any Muslims or Hebrews or Moorish people that could possibly pop up on Face the Bully. I love them all. I love you all. You know what I'm saying? To each our own on what we believe in. To each our own and what we believe in. You know, you got atheist people that don't believe in nothing, man. To each our own, brother. Don't let things get so overwhelming in your life that you can't keep going forward. You know, don't let things um, really come between you and yourself. You know, be a stoic. Practice a little bit of stoicism in your world. That's what I've been doing. I haven't been trying to become a stoic, but I've been trying to just suck in their practices, man, because I'm telling you, man, sometimes you don't want to be a live wire and you don't want to bust, so you take stuff in. I know how y'all be. Y'all be taking stuff in, too. You don't want to be a live wire and you don't want to bust, so you want to have a little brain. You know what I'm saying? Let this fool do all the talking. Let this fool over here, you know, do everything bad. And you sit back and you plot before you make a move. Because your, your scheme of what you may be plotting on may be just to leave. You got to understand, man. Don't hurt yourself because somebody else want to see you hurt. You feel me? Right, it's the bully. And, man, I'm going to keep it real. Like I always do around this time. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully, where I like to talk about dogs, man. Preferably 
preferably your dog. And mine, man. I'm out here, uh, you know what I'm saying, in my city tonight, man, and just chilling. Sitting out here on the uh, on the on the city, man. In the city, it's very it's lit up all the time. When I be in the hills, it's dark as hell. When you're in the city, it's just lit up. And I like the city, man. I like the city. And I like y'all, and I like y'all dogs. I know I'll be crapping on a lot of dogs it seems like sometime, but when you just seen dogs like I done seen dogs, I mean, I ain't I ain't no uh show breeder. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not a champion breeder. Even though along the way, I might have had hundreds of champion dogs and just didn't champ them out. But I'm not a show breeder like that. But dogs, I love. So I always run around and look for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, you know, was doing all, all today. When you check my videos, man, you, it's going to be some little exotics up there that I was throwing up there. You know what I'm saying? I, had, I was out playing with. You know what I'm saying? But these exotics had legs and backs and tails and things. They had it. I was playing with them outside. You know what I'm saying? I, I was playing with the dogs. Exotics, man. Killing the exotic world, man. Doing big things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing big things. But, you know, that's all I be trying to get into is just... I try to stay to myself, really. I try to stay to myself. Because I see that everybody ain't like me. But well, my brother. My brother is like me. <laughs> he grew up with dogs just like me. <laughs> yeah. He grew up with dogs just like me. Yeah, I've been with my brother. I've been hanging out with my brother, man. You know? I went through some things. It was kind of rough like these last couple of years, right? But God is hella good, man. He really is because I didn't get in no trouble. I didn't get in no trouble. I was able to calm down. And I was able to watch God deal with this other person. No matter how much I wanted to do something to that person, it's already done. Whole marriage destroyed. Whole marriage destroyed. That quick. <laughs> but now that's a different topic. See, this is what I'm talking about. We get on everything on Facebook. And if y'all want to um, chime in sometime, leave me a message, I'll get back on it. Immediately. Immediately. I know you know that I uh, be saying these dogs is mixed and, and blended all up. They are. They are. <laughs> they are <laughs> you know, they, they, they are mixed they are blended they're Frenchy they're Rottweiler all kind of shits in there you know what I'm saying but still man all in all man your boy man Skeet B is a fan man that's me Skeet B I'm a fan in the bully world real facts and this is <laughs> Fast the Bullet.